let's talk. Actually, I'm curious now. So when we first met, right? Um, I think some of what you were doing was um, was observing me, right, and observing influencers and trying to learn right about that space because your background had been on the product development side, on the marketing side, but you were really trying to dive in. Um, what have been some of the more surprising learnings for you, kind of coming into this space, especially for a brand like Mac, which is so dominant socially, right? Like, what were some of the things that you you came in and discovered about? I mean, this is if I were to look at the list, the most social brand you've ever worked at, right? Yeah. So, or the most, yeah, uh, dominant one. Um, what were some of your learnings and what, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, talk to me about that. So I think, you know, I've studied Mac from the outside. I was at Laura okay. for 15 years. Mac was our number one competition obsession because they're just dominating the market, very innovative in also the yep. way they're activating the brand and everything. And I never, you know, like uh, I also worked at, you know, J and J, as you said, and uh, and Revlon. Those companies, very differently from Mac, focus on high funnel activation, building awareness, mass media to actually yeah. conquer, you know, like the the audiences. Mac yeah. is extremely different. Mac business model is based on earned media. That's what the brand, you know, start with. I mean, the, the, the media model is very unique and I've never worked in a brand like this. Um, that yeah. it, all the brand I've come there because it's, it's where the space is now, like they're where the market has moved, but it was never part of the media model. Mac was never on TV. <laughs> no, I've never seen a Mac ad, right? Like, yeah. Or like a Mac TV ad. Maybe there's been one, but it's not how I think of the brand. Yeah, and the brand has like a top awareness yeah. to the intention behind building advocacy is super important. One of the, the purpose of Mac actually has been articulated to me by John Dempsey, which we call the Mac Daddy. John is <laughs> a legend. <laughs> you know, John like is one of the... <laughs> John is one of the few people in the industry I still haven't met. I feel like I need to meet him one day. Oh my and I'll God, Connor, like when you come to New York, you have, you must, like we, we need to organize something because John is obviously extremely inspiring for what he's done in the industry. He's a legend. He actually helped yep. build Mac to what Mac is today. But he's, after all these years, he still sees the potential and, you know, push the brands and push the teams to continue to elevate what the brands stand for. And that is, for me, it's remarkable. Like the drive, the passion, the vision is a legend, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, you know, I'm a brand equity builder. I really love when I start working on the brand, I love to be able to get people to articulate anywhere they are in the world. What are the brand mission, the values, the purpose, et cetera, et cetera. Mac yeah. can be spelled. People can tell you it's about all ages, all genders, all races, you know, all Mac. Um, they're able to tell you that we give back. But I feel like the one sentence that nobody told me that John were able to act, was able to articulate to me was, Mac harnesses the power of community to transform society. Mm. Right? And for me, mm. that is that was like, I had the light bulb moment. I was like, that was exactly what I was looking for. Like, how do you pull together the fact that we are earned media driven, that we have an artist community, that we activate our employees to carry and, you know, like um, um, lift our social values, our values. How do you, do you put together the fact that we're doing N NGOs, like a work, like a lot of work with NGOs, like with strong partnership. We have Viva Glam that has raised like half a billion dollars in the past 27 years, um, we have consumer that come to transform the look. How do you put all that together? I was like, wow, that's the sentence. And I'm making this sentence the purpose of Mac moving forward. Just yeah. to tell you that the community with, you know, um, individuality is really what we stand for. And this is not something you can do with mass media. You have to go grassroots. You have to, to get people to, to, to live and to build those communities. Today, it feels super easy. People talk about community. Yes, you have a WhatsApp group. You have your friends on, on your social media, your followers, that's your community. But like, think about it. It's like 37 years ago. 
when everybody was kind of pretty much yeah. apart. Like you had to dial the phone like this to call your friends, making sure that they're at home. Otherwise, you, you couldn't even leave a message. Um, Ten years after, you could leave, you could leave a message, but you know, and then you have to t uh, you know tag, uh, tag them on the you know the tango thing that we all had like in the late nineties to take to page your friends or things like that. It feels, <laughs> it feels like so revolutionary, and it, it is revolutionary, and it transcends generation. It's just a culture. It's a culture. Yeah. Yeah, I love that description. And I think what's weird for me is I didn't really understand the concept of community until maybe two or three years ago. And where I started to understand it, frankly, um, was like through our own company, right? So through our own company, like now that we're like eight, nine, you know, going on almost 10 years in, right, there is like a community, right? There are people that I've built relationships with over years and years and years that are really meaningful and deep and beyond just, you know, uh, transactional and business related and, and tribe has as well. Right. And so, and I think that like, until I saw that right firsthand, I didn't quite understand it. Right. I never really quite got it. Um, like I, I, I knew it was important, but I didn't really get it. Um, but you put it in I the name of the company. I think that's powerful. Yeah, I mean, it's right. It's like it's definitely something we believed in, right? And it's almost we've almost grown into it in some ways. And then, um, and then I think secondarily, what's really interesting, um, and I've talked is is what makes the internet special, right? Is that it allows people that are physically distanced, but with with the same interests, con to connect in a meaningful way, right? So like you know, when you were growing up in high school, maybe there was one other person that was really into makeup artistry, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so you only had one other friend that was into what you were doing. But now you go online and it's like, okay, well, there's two people at every high school and there's, you know, 100,000 high schools. So collectively, it's 200,000 people. It's a big community collectively across physical boundaries. Um, and so I think you're right that in a lot of ways, because of the evolution of technology, this this ability to build community around common interests um, is actually just different than it was in the past right you couldn't actually do it and so in a lot of ways the last 20 years of technology development have played just perfectly into who mac is right and into what that approach is yeah. um, and that's part of the reason that we've seen all of these brands be so successful with like a similar approach yes. right um yeah and i love that and that's and that's just to exactly and then to you know build on what you're saying and answer your question your initial question is like when you and i met and we started to speak about you know earn media value i think we were we're doing great and yep you helped me pinpoint opportunities on how to really further accelerate and i think that that was amazing for me you know i remember like listening to you and like understanding and like making sense of things that I was feeling uh, in a way and, yep. and being able to bring that to the teams. I remember like probably my first week or first two weeks, I didn't take a lot of action before my first, my month three, because I was listening. And, but one of the things I was like, team, you need to reinstate this tool at the market level yep. so we know what what needs to be done because if we are serious about earned media and i discovered that i as i worked into mac i knew they were serious about it but i didn't know it was like the business model um yep. i was yep. like okay we need we need to make sure that we look at the kpis from every every standpoint we're the number one brand on social media like in terms of share of voice that is no doubt. And we, we've been consistently number one, I think for the past year, um, yep. it was not the case before. So there's a lot of work that has been done there, but when you look at the total earned media value and what tribe was issuing to us, I was like, okay, these are where the opportunities are, the buckets of, of, um, pockets of, you know, uh, further acceleration and how we can help guide guide our market, even like yeah. in the way they structure themselves, you know, because it's so hard. The word of earn today, it's so fragmented. How do you think about a marketing organization that can support that too? It's super important. 
Yeah. I mean, the it's both fragmented and it's enormous, right? You guys have hundreds of thousands. I mean, it's like oh, probably over close to a thousand pieces of content a day created just in the US, just by influencers, right? Mm-hmm. And every time one of those people talks about you and they, they hear silence on the other end, right? They don't hear affirmation. They don't get a note. They don't get a thank you, a like, or whatever, right? That's a missed opportunity. That's- and that's, but that's a totally different scale than you've ever had to deal with as a brand before. Yeah. And so uh, it's just a massive opportunity. It's a huge opportunity for all um, of us. And well, we don't want this to be like a but because there is a lot of solutions you can do to answer people and to make sure. But we also have makeup artists behind, you know, managing our communities. And because we want, if a consumer comes with a question on the makeup look, it has to be authentic. You know, a makeup artist is able to tell you, oh, this lipstick may not work with this. That may be why you're experiencing this problem. Or this shade, can you, you know, DM me so I can help you further? We take all this so seriously. And I think the quality of the response we want to give sometimes, to your point, doesn't always, um, we cannot always like keep up with the amount of content and the success of the brand. So we have to find ways to accelerate and to focus and to make sure that we we continue. I think the team has been like very reactive to that and like understanding where the, you know, the opportunities were and um, it's fantastic. I have a very talented team, very passionate about the brand too. And that makes things super easy. 